I have students work in teams. Now, that's important to me because I actually hate teamwork myself. Um, it's not that I'm not a people person, <laughs> but a long time ago when I was in a master's program at Rockefeller, uh, I remember some doctoral students coming in and doing research on teams and how teams worked. And I, you know, I, under, I understood and I learned about the theory that, especially in education, we are all about working in teams because that's what business is going to expect in your future job and that's how the world is and, you know, John Dewey believed we all should be social beings and all of this kind of stuff, right? So I understand all of that, but I found for myself it just wasn't a productive way of working. I always felt like other people were like, like I was dragging along a millstone and like, you know, it was just going to bring me down, like the work wasn't going to be that good. Okay, I later discovered through doctoral students doing research when I was a master's student that there is research out there that says teams outperform individuals, but they don't perform the strongest individual in a team. So if you have a really strong leader, that person is better working alone than they are in a team. So they may raise the others in their team, but the others bring them down. So I always kind of felt, I mean, this is not a humble thing to say, and maybe you ought to cut this out because it'll make me sound awful, but the bottom line is I always felt like I was that really strong team member, and I just felt like it wasn't benefiting me. To, to do, you know, especially in my job. And in, in this classroom setting, it's different because you're working, you're, you're hoping to facilitate learning. In a workplace, when you're on a deadline and your boss says, do this, and you have to do this, you have to, I, really, I don't need another person, you know, working with me and whatever. So uh, me assigning teamwork in my classes, which I always do, is kind of not something I liked as a student. And so that I do it, I guess, in a way is shocking. Uh, because I, I don't especially appreciate it as an approach for from, from me. Uh, but students like it, and research supports it, and so I do it. Now, in an online world, students are not that crazy about it. I think mostly because they are more independent, self-directed learners, uh, because they also have this fear, experience and the fear that I had, and how are you going to get your peers to work, let's say, if you don't see them? So in a classroom, it's bad enough where you can, say, guilt them out or you know, get your friends together in the team and sort of be mean to them or go to the instructor. Online, I think they don't even feel like they necessarily have that instructor partner as often or they don't know the instructor as well. So the bottom line is that I use it is surprising for me and that I use it in an online class is even more surprising for me, but I always do. And I will say that I'm proud of the assignment because I have managed, I think, to figure out that about three students is the um, optimum team for online learning as long as they are motivated and committed. Uh, I have also learned that if you sort of kind of base it around their interests, which I don't necessarily do in a face-to-face -face environment, I do it more randomly, but online I say like what are you interested in and I try to team people up based on their interests so that they are kind of engaged in it. And then I also pull them for their schedule, which I used to do for the chat, which I, I don't really have to do that anymore, obviously. Um, and now I've added voice thread. And, I, and the, the way the assignment has come out and the, and the expectation that I have for it and what they produce, they, they lead a discussion and they produce a background document to go along with it. And they get to pick whatever they want within a certain, an umbrella theme kind of thing. The students are so engaged by it, so proud of it. And it's very absolutely, definitely the best assignment in the class. And it also outshines my face-to-face -face classes where they have a similar assignment and I'm not saying they do a bad job, but they don't do quite as good a job as the online classes.